Hey there guys, this is All Things Apple Plus here. Wanted to give you guys just a tutorial video, but also this is going to be kind of a multi-tutorial video on how to update your iPhone or iPad or iDevice onto a specific firmware that Apple is signing. Uh, so at the moment, I'm currently upgrading my iPad up to iOS 9.3.2, but it, or actually 9.3.3, excuse me. But if you were to ever update or even try to plug in your device and hit the update button within Apple's or within iTunes, uh, you'll be prompted to uh, to download the iOS 9.3.4 firmware. And if uh, if that's something that you do not want to do because you want to either jailbreak or because you don't want the latest and newest firmware, um, you know there are ways around being able to update to the firmware that you would like that Apple is signing. So. If you haven't already checked out, uh, I'll actually put the link in the description below, but check out IPSW.me. Let me scroll in a little bit here. Very cool. So with this website, you can actually um, select your device from right here. So I have my iPad Mini 2 that I'm doing right now. And then you can select your iOS version that you would like to get. So uh, the ones that are listed in, the ones that are listed in green, excuse me, are the ones that Apple are signing. The firmwares that are in red, unfortunately Apple is unable to, or you're unable to um, upgrade or downgrade your device to those firmwares. So if you are on iOS 9.3.4 and you would like to go to iOS 9.3.3 because you would like to jailbreak, you can do that. You can download this firmware, which I've done already, and you can inject this into your device. What you do is you just click on the, uh, the firmware that you would like, hit download and once you do you should see on the side your uh, of your screen right here you should see your uh, firmware uh, completely downloaded and if you click the down arrow button you can always see show in folder from here it should bring up the folder right here uh, let's see here actually it should bring me up to my desktop because I just loaded this to my desktop there we go Here's the firmware right here. And it doesn't take that long to download. It's actually pretty fast. And from here, you can actually update your device. So I'm actually in the midst of doing that right now. There we go. All right, cool deal. So let me point this to the side real quick. All right. So originally I was on iOS 9.3.2, but now after upgrading, I'm on iOS 9.3.3. So, um, any firmware that you would like to uh, jump to that Apple is still signing, you can go ahead and do that. So, actually, let me plug this guy back in. There we go. So automatically, when you plug in your device, Apple will request that you download iOS 9.3.4, but we're not gonna do that just yet. We're actually, uh, I'm gonna throw in the tutorial to how to get uh, GBA for iOS on your guys' iDevice. So, by clicking over here, you can uh, after you've downloaded your firmware, you can hit the shift button and click update at the same time. And when you do, it'll bring a um, uh, a pop-up bar for you. So all you have to do is just scroll down, find your firmware, and open it up, and it will actually install onto your iDevice. So we won't need our computer anymore at this moment. All right. So from here. We're on iOS 9.3.3 and we're gonna get the GBA for iOS emulator on our iDevices. Now from your devices, go ahead and hit and launch Safari. And then from Safari, you'll have iEnchantify from here. I'm actually gonna use my pen instead. And from here, you can go ahead and click on apps. And then from apps, we're gonna go into packages here. From packages, we'll scroll down to we see uh, GBA for iOS 2.1. And at the moment, uh, as of August 8th, um, I Enchantify has um, GBA for iOS uh, without the need of, you can actually download it without the need of a day trick or anything, you can just automatically download it. Um, that That isn't to say that Apple can't revoke this later on in the future, so keep, um, what I'll do is I'll also keep you guys updated with this, uh, 
with this emulator. So if you guys are in a you know in a need for this emulator and you guys want it on your devices, I will keep an update on there. So letting you guys know whether or not it has been revoked or not. So we're gonna go ahead and hit install. We'll hit install one more time, and it should bring up a uh, uh, excuse me an advertisement. Go ahead and let the the counter go ahead and count down, and we're gonna hit skip this ad. And then it should prompt us to go ahead and install. So we'll hit that. We'll back out. And we won't need to do any sort of date trick or anything like that. We can go ahead and launch the app. But before we do, we do have to trust this. So we'll hit cancel. Go to settings. We'll go under general. Scroll all the way down to device management. From device management, we'll have our enterprise app here. We'll go ahead and click on it and trust it. Go ahead and back out and we can go ahead and launch the app now now after launching the app you will need some games of course so let's go ahead and hit on the magnifying glass here and let's go ahead and just type in gba roms there we go so from here we can go under free roms And for free ROMs, let's go ahead and get whatever. <laughs> let's go ahead and get the game that everybody is playing. If not the Go version, the regular version. So we'll go ahead and click Pokemon Ruby. We'll wait the 14 seconds that it has right here. Go ahead and hit the download button or the direct download. So let's go ahead and click on that. And it'll ask us to download. So we'll download that. It'll ask us to rename it. We can just save it from there. And we can go ahead and launch the game from there. So we can go and hit start. Actually, let me turn this down a little bit. So we can go and hit start and the game runs perfectly. So. That's how you'll get it on uh, iOS 9.3.3. Stay in tuned uh, for the next coming video. Uh, I'll be showing to get it on iOS 9.3.4, um, and I'll be running just to see. And I'll make you know I'll do a little run test to see if it does actually work on iOS 9.3.4. So that way you guys can know whether or not to stay on iOS 9.3.3, or if you guys want to make that jump to the newest firmware. So for all things Apple Plus, I hope you guys did like this tutorial. Stay tuned for the next video. It should be coming out real soon. And I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one. Bye.